So let's look into here what will happen if you have a form of rational inequalities. Okay, for rational inequalities, rational absolute uh, actually inequalities, there are basically two methods on how to solve them. First is by using one side or so hence we're going to use because it is one side so we could use our basic definition okay but then because it is positive guys in the denominator we could also use cross multiply plus with condition but then we can use square both sides but here i want to use the one-sided properties first huh? to make it consistent okay so since we have our question in terms of one-sided absolute inequalities only so therefore i'm using the basic definition so our bd is bd for basic definition huh? our bd should be 3x plus 4 over with x plus 2 please remember the one in the modulus would stay as as it is okay but without the modular sign okay right so our first set should be just follow through but then please refer to your sign over here it is less and so less and so and should be in the middle and then another one should be 3x plus 4 over with x plus 2 also stay but then greater than negative 1 okay changing the opposite sign and don't forget to put negative again change the sign to the opposite direction and then don't forget to put negative so i'm, I'm gonna solve this separately since we have rational inequalities please remember that we shouldn't cross multiply them okay so now 3 x plus 4 minus with 1 over with x plus 2 less than 0 okay here we're gonna solve them separately yeah? so now we would have this in terms of single fraction so we have minus x plus 2 over with x plus 2 less than 0 as well so eventually we would have rational inequalities to be 2x plus with 2 x plus 2 at the bottom less than 0 okay so from here if i want to use rnl which is using the first bar acronym for the step so this is my f already yeah so now i'm gonna follow through the assumption so my assume would be x because although it is less than always make it as greater assume greater so x 2x plus 2 when you assume that as greater than 0 so that should be the greater than negative 1 as long as well as if you have the 1 at the bottom greater than 0 that should be greater than negative 2 so eventually i would have to draw this on my real number line but we don't have much spaces here so i might want to move this a bit to the right to make it clear i'm gonna just soft that on the on our next page huh? okay so now we would have our r in terms of negative, negative 2 as well as negative 1 so we have negative 2 to the right as well as negative 1 also to the right and then your s don't forget everything with lines is positive but without lines are negative and then the product should be plus minus plus 
but then refer to the original f over here it is less than less than means negative so negative having this one only as the answer so our a at the end our a at the end should be in between negative 2 and negative 1 only okay so this one is for our first set what about its end eh, in the middle what about the other one it is 3x plus 4 over with x plus 2 but greater than negative 1 so straight away make it as one single fraction so that should be plus x plus 2 over with x plus 2 so greater than 0 it will be 4x plus 6 over with x plus 2 greater than 0 so eventually this is my f what about my a a is x greater than negative 3 over 2 as well as i got x greater than negative 2 from the bottom and then r will be two set of negative 2 as well as negative 3 over 2 so i'm having two intervals there both to the right both also to the right so the one with the lines positive for the s but the one without lines should be negative okay how about your p p should be positive negative as well as positive okay refer to your f here it wants the region where it is it is positive so it should be plus plus over there so our s2 our answer will become negative infinity up until negative 2 open bracket both union with negative 3 over 2 up until infinity as well okay so basically these are of separate set so sorry yeah with the messy solutions and everything okay so this is our first set of solution and then this is our second set of solution these are not our answers yet up until we have to combine them together so combine part we have to combine them using a number line as well but not with the signs huh? so we have now negative 2 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 over 2 okay so list down everything negative 2 just once because it occurs twice all right as well as negative 3 over 2 and then negative 1 so our first solution is from negative 2 both open up until negative 1 okay how about our s2 s2 should be negative infinity until negative 2 so to the left as well as negative 3 over 2 up until infinity so we want end as our focus point so end is where it intersect so this should be our final answer the region so final answer as in because the question doesn't ask you to express them in terms of specifically in terms of interval form or solution set so you can just actually express your answer in terms of whichever okay so i'm gonna use uh, interval form so our answer will be negative 3 over 2 up until negative 1 both are not included huh? okay so till next video thank you okay, so just now i mentioned to you that there is another way on how to solve rational inequalities which we can actually cross multiply them but with one condition where you should have to take into account this one so denominator cannot be equals to zero so straight away for this once you have this kind of question so you know that that this is gonna be the denominator right okay but before that you have to know that by using the properties of absolute value you can separate them into modulus 3x plus 4 
on top and then modulus x plus 2 at the bottom okay and then it should be less than 1 just follow through but here we have one condition already that our denominator cannot be equals to 0 meaning that it cannot equals to negative 2 straight away yeah? so next step would be before this i prohibit you i ask you not to cross multiply this one because it could be positive or negative so that the sign could be opposite opposite right but but then in our case here because this is confirmed to be positive because it's been modulus right every absolute value must have a value of positive number so that's why when you cross multiply them becoming modulus x plus 2 times 1 so that should be modulus x plus 2 straight away but with the condition at the top of it right so that you know that at the first place this is our situation a rational number which a rational fraction cannot have zero as denominator okay so what's next is you have to square up both sides because in the in the situation where our modulus is in both sides so we should do square both sides so that's why here square up the same goes with this so you would have 3x plus 4 with modulus gone but square is still there the same goes with this x plus 2 square still there but modulus gone so please expand them you should have 9x squared okay quick expansion uh, 3x times 4 times 2 straight away that should be 24x plus 16 less than just follow through that should be x squared plus 4x plus with 4 okay so simplify everything you would have 8x squared plus with 20x plus with 12 less than 0 so now we should have a quadratic inequalities so please remember what should we do with quadratic inequalities there are three method in solving it which is by using graph by using real number line using the acronym of FASPA as well as you could use table of sign as well but now I want to simplify this first even further so divides everything with 4 since they have common factor of 4 and then positive number I don't have to change its direction so still less than 0 but then here we would have 2x squared plus 5x plus with 3 okay so now we want to solve this according to our method there which I opt for RNL using first bar okay, I'm gonna use this one so first I have to factorize it so I would have 2x plus 3 as well as x plus 1 less than 0 so now I have two factors which is x equals to negative 3 over 2 as well as x equal to negative 1 eh? and then please assume greater although it's less than but always assume greater so that on the top of the line letter on we can put the positive sign eh? okay so now assuming we would have 2x plus 3 greater than 0 so that should be x greater than negative 3 over 2 as well as if you have x plus 1 greater than 0 that should be x greater than negative 1 okay so two set of our intervals here have to be drawn on our real number line so we would have negative 3 over 2 much there and a negative 1 is over here both are to the right but with a different stagging there okay s should be the one with the lines positive signs the one without the lines with negative signs as well as 
the product so make sure you time start together already so that will be plus minus plus okay so the answer would have to be depends on your f so now we have this one as less so less is negative so our final answer because it doesn't matter if you want to put it in interval or solution set so i'm gonna use the solution solution set so it should be in between as is such that in between negative 3 over 2 as well as negative 1 and then denote that whether it's included or not because it's an empty circle here so it it's not included and then just in case you are forgetting our x equals to and don't forget to include also x cannot equals to negative 2 in fact in between negative 3 over 2 and negative 1 doesn't include x equals to negative 2 anyway right but then just make it as routine to denote that at the end of here okay so take it back all right so i guess that's our second option on how to solve our rational inequalities instead of you're having the diamond form like this